Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday, February 12th, 2019. I'm Mr. Geralds. And I'm on music. Hey, and you know what? We are coming to everybody from the beaches of Antigua today. It's pretty nice out here, right? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite part about the beach? Well, I like going swimming in the beach. Yeah. To collect, like, shells all over. Awesome. How about this beach? What's your favorite part of this beach? Okay, got it. Almir, you got it. Hey, let's get ready for our morning announcements. Let's pause for a moment of silence, please. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, buddy, what's the weather like back home in Decatur Township? A high of 44 with 50% chance of rain. 50% chance of rain. I think today where we're at, uh, the temperature is going to be about 80 degrees um, and 100% chance of sun. Hmm. All right, so we've got to hit, hit, hit these beaches after we get done with the morning news. What do you say? Okay. All right. How about in the cafeteria back at Blue? What's going on? We have mini hot dogs with mac and cheese cup, carrots and dip, Fruits and veggies with milk. All right. And who's celebrating birthdays today? Alexa and Rachel. Happy birthday, right? Mm -hmm. And we've got an uh, announcement about Smencils. Smencils sales, $1 each. Smencils will be sold during lunch each day. All proceeds supported the Blue Academy's robotics team. And you know, this robotics, uh, our robotics team, we have two teams, uh, and they both had a great weekend last weekend. Uh, one uh, team won the skills uh, challenge, and then the other team won the teamwork award. So both teams brought back hardware uh, for Blue Academy. So I'm very, very proud of uh, both teams, as well as our coaches and parents for their continued support. All right, uh, as far as positive referrals goes, I would like to see Logan Ford. Logan, Mrs. Nesbitt says, Logan was walking in the hallway and saw some papers and gum wrappers on the ground without being told. He picked them up uh, on his own. So great job there, Logan. Mrs. Davis's class. Mrs. Davis's class uh, has earned 20 marbles twice this week for being able uh, to uh, uh, have uh, at recess to line up at recess when the whistle was blown and did so quickly without talking and was able to enter the building first and earned extra marbles both times with compliments from other classroom teachers. Great job. I'm very proud of you. And that is from uh, Mrs. Davis. So way to go there. Uh, Muhammad Ali, we are recognizing Muhammad Ali today, an American former professional boxer considered among the greatest heavyweights in sports history. He is one of the most recognized sports figures of the past 100 years, crowned Sportsman of the Century by Sports Illustrated and Sports Personality of the Century by the BBC. So uh, congratulations to Muhammad Ali for his positive impact on our world um, uh, during the years uh, that he was alive. As far as our ste second steps goes, uh, this week we are focusing on calming down. Uh, when you have strong feelings, it's hard for your brain to think. After you use your stop signal and name your feeling, you're ready to calm down. You can calm down by doing some slow, deep breath uh, belly breathing, counting, or using positive self-talk. Think for a moment about your favorite way to calm down. Remember to use it this week if you need to. Calming down helps you think clearly. So I would encourage everybody after our morning announcements, talk about calming down and some of those strategies that you can use when you are feeling upset. So we're going to part ways here. You're going to step out. Miss Solar is going to come in and we're going to talk about our functional words this week. So uh, at this time, I would like to bring in Miss Solar to uh, talk about, we have our, our two new f uh, functional words this week. The first word we are going to sh uh, introduce is represent. Represent means be entitled or appointed to act or speak for someone, especially in an official capacity, uh, constitute or amount to. So the first one is represent. Right, so the sign for represent, you're gonna put your left hand up like this, take your right pointer finger on your hand and move them forward. Represent. Represent. It also kind of, this is also the sign for to show something. Represent can also mean you're showing something. So it goes along with that. Wonderful. Okay. So represent. 
Love it. Explain um, is our second foundational word, uh, functional word this week. And explain means make clear to someone by describing it in more detail or revealing relevant facts or ideas. So we use this one a lot in our classrooms. And it also, one of the words you used in the definition was describe. Mm -hmm. And describe was one of our words before. So Absolutely. it's actually the same sign. So you're going to make two letter F's. This is the letter F. So you're going to put them down like this and alternate moving them back and forth. Describe or explain. or explain. Our word this week is explain. Wonderful. Okay. So let's do it one more time. Represent. Explain. So dual meaning for... Now, <laughs> how often do some of our words have dual meanings? Quite a bit. So we have to think of our synonyms, words that mean the same. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes one sign could represent five, six words. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much uh, for being You're here. Welcome. As always on Tuesdays, we absolutely love... Um, uh, being able to not only share the meaning of the word, but also provide some visuals with our functional words. And Ms. Solar has been a great addition uh, to our morning news, as well as to our Blue Academy and all of Decatur Township. Uh, our quote this week is, none of us is as smart as all of us. Uh, so what that means is a lot of times when we uh, form groups and we collaborate together, um, that uh, we have more ideas, more thoughts, and a lot of times we bring in um, you know, some st stronger ideas to the table as far as when we uh, do some of our creativity and some of our thinking. So uh, none of us is as smart as all of us. So as, as a whole group, uh, Blue Academy, uh, we're an extremely strong family, um, and we want to continue moving in that positive progress. So with that, hey, we got a beach to go play in, right? All right. Hey, have a great day back there at Blue Academy. Together, we are Decatur Proud. Bye, everybody.